In this video, I'm going to show you four tips and tricks I've learned when deploying NFTs to OpenSea. Number one, use the Open Zeppelin ownable contract. When you're building your NFT, you're going to want to import the ownable contract into your code. This is how OpenSea will be able to recognize that you own a collection and it will allow you to change the feature image, collect royalties on sales, and even change the payment methods. Without it, you'll have to send an email to OpenSea in order to get access, which can take a long time. Number two, don't forget the interface. If you're building an NFT from scratch, it's common to forget to include the interface for that NFT. This interface is part of the ERC-165 standard, and it tells OpenSea if your contract is an ERC-721 or an ERC-1155. Without it, OpenSea won't be able to properly detect and visualize your NFTs. Number three, you can use the Gorley network. If you're building NFTs right now, you've probably tried to deploy your NFT onto the Rinkeby network because this is the only Ethereum-based test network supported by OpenSea, right? Actually, no. OpenSea also supports the Goalie network, even though it's not advertised well on their website. This is really important because lately it's really difficult to get ETH on the Rinkeby network, which makes it really difficult to deploy and test your NFTs. Gorley, on the other hand, makes it easy to get ETH, so you'll have a smoother developer experience using that network. Number four, modify the ERC-1155 URI function. If you want to deploy an NFT using the ERC-1155 standard, you're gonna to have to modify the URI function so that OpenSea can read it. In the ERC-1155 standard, the URI function typically returns a URL like this. However, OpenSea can't inject the ID into this link, so we need it to return a URL which injects it for them, like this. And we can do this by using the Open Zeppelin implementation of the ERC-1155 contract and overriding the URI function with this code. Well, that's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one.